still picks, and here are just a few of them. This is seven-year-old Savannah of Milford kicking off <laughs> second grade. Take a look at Abigail of Frankfurt. You can see she's starting the eighth grade. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. <laughs> One more year before the big transition to high school. And this fine-looking young man is Jackson, Abigail's brother. Uh, one, two, three, four, four fingers for the fourth grade. i got to work on that. Yeah. Here's another fine-looking family. These young men and women are part of the Rice and Richardson families in Dover. Guys, we wish you the best of luck for a spectacular school spectacular. year. And as you just saw, for many kids on Delmarva, the school year is already underway. Some head back next week, others the day after Labor Day. The students are welcome to the school by teachers, principals, and other staff members. But one man wants to make sure that there's something else there to help them ring in the new school year. 100 men dressed for success. And here to explain what that means exactly is Jeffrey Benson. He's from Seaford. Jeffrey, thanks you so much for coming in. Thank who's, you, Bradley. Who's this good-looking young lady with you? This is my beautiful daughter, Kenya. Hi, Kenya. Kenya. <laughs> thanks for coming in. Okay, so 100 men dressed for success. I understand this idea popped in your head while brushing your teeth? Yeah, so... Uh, Nationwide, this is not something that, you know, is really original. Last year, I saw a few schools that were doing some back-to-school uh, initiatives to welcome the kids back. So as I was brushing my teeth, I was thinking, why don't we get 100 men in our local area uh, dressed for success to come and welcome the kids back? And so uh, I initially, with my toothbrush in my mouth, <laughs> uh, put on Facebook, I need 100 men to meet me at uh, the Seaford School District. Um, for welcoming the kids back. And within like an hour, it just spread very, very quickly. People thought it was a wonderful idea. And then by the middle of the day, I had uh, women asking, well, what about us? Can we not participate? And I said, absolutely, you can come. I actually uh, thought that it would come anyway but the idea was just us as men usually we don't participate in the back to school mm -hmm. or first day uh, initiative so I thought that this would be a great idea for us in our community uh, to see that we're welcoming the kids back we uh, appreciate what they do as students and as staff and I thought it would just be a great thing to bring our Seaford community together because we have a rich uh, tradition of family and community now why suits why are they dressed up in suits? Well, I think uh, for our area, we don't have much industry. You see uh, agriculture a lot um, and maybe construction. Um, so usually you may only see suits during Sunday. So I thought it would be a great thing for the students to see men dressed up um, professionally, welcoming them back, give them high fives, uh, taking them or escorting them to uh, class. And it's just, you know, the idea of being professionally dressed to welcome you back. Now, that's not a precursor. Now, if you don't have a suit or a tie or whatever, feel free, please, to come by. And whatever uniform that you wear, you may be a mechanic and that is your uniform. So that's fine. If you're a firefighter, you want to wear your firefighter uh, uh, outfit or uniform, please come through. So we're asking everybody that can participate to meet us at the Boys and Girls Club at 8 a.m. And from there, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna split them up into the sections in the school, disperse them to the schools that are supposed to go, and also carpool, just so we don't have too much of a traffic jam, yeah. because you know we are adding a little more risk you know, uh, when you, you so come into the schools. Why do you feel it's so important to show these students that we're supporting them? Well, I, I, you know, uh, students have a tough job. You know, you're, you're trying to do the right thing. You're trying to study, get good grades. You're trying to figure yourself out. Um, and so I think that this is a, a, a point in time where our nation is somewhat divided. And this is a great opportunity to say, look, we're with you. We support you. We love what you do. For the staff, thank you. Teachers are responsible for every profession that we have in the world. So, you know what I mean, it, the, the uh, foundation is started with each teacher. So it's not just welcoming the teachers, uh, excuse me, the students back, but it's mm -hmm. also supporting the teachers and the staff and saying thank you for what you do for taking care of our kids and our grandkids and helping them get enough. to the next level. Because yeah. teachers don't get enough of that either. Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. They have a very, very tough job. And I think it's important to reiterate what you had said before. You're saying show up in suits, but if a mechanic or a construction worker show up in their, yes. in their work attire, basically. Exactly. Exactly. Just to exactly. show all the different diversity in our jobs. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So what, what do you think this will do for the students? Man, I think it's just going to, you know, bring great morale throughout the whole district uh, for them for their first day back. 
um, they're probably gonna go back home and tell their parents and grandparents and say, hey, such I saw such and such was there because the idea is to have, um, so if your, your kid goes to say Central Elementary, then we want you, if you're a father or grandfather, to go to that school right. so they could, you know, see that family member or familiar face. And so I think that they're gonna be excited to have that, to say, hey, they were there for us. But not only that, I think it would spark something for more events to, to take place within the district for the whole school year. Yeah. So that's what I'm, I'm thinking that's gonna take place, and I'm excited about that. Well, you should be. Yes, terrific. Idea. It's right. okay if people from outside the school district come and, and sure. support as well? Sure, okay. sure. All right, sure. just want to make sure. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> and one last thing, uh, uh, while we will be taking pictures, and hopefully you guys will show it just like you did today, <laughs> um, but uh, we're going to use the hashtag Blue Jay Pride. Okay. So if you're not, um, you know, friends on Facebook, you can click on the hashtag and see all the pictures. Oh, uh, so. okay. Got to have a hashtag. Yes, <laughs> yes. All right, so here's the details of what it is you're go what you got going on. Back to school student welcoming. It's going to be Tuesday, August 30th at 8 in the morning at the Seaford Boys and Girls Club. Here's the number to find out more. 302-853-2841. Jeffrey, great idea. Thank you so Thank much you. for sharing, it. and best of luck. Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you, Kenya. <laughs> <laughs>